Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. This week I want to show you a really useful tool called Evernote. It's available to use on the web on any computer and it works on many mobile devices as well such as iPhones, iPads and Androids. And it's really great for taking notes and also for just creating lists to remember things. So great for doing things such as having a recipe or a shopping list and you can tick off as you've done something. I use it for the tutorials and I tick them off as I've done them, so it's a good little reminder. But it's also good I might get someone's business card. I can take a photograph of it. Evernote will actually do optical character recognition. It will read the card so it can become searchable, so it will look for names and words on it. The premium version of this, there is a free version, which is the one that I use, will do this faster. But you can also put in tags for it, so you might put in that that person is, say, a carpenter. And you can write some notes about that person. You can search for it later so that you can bring all that information up. I use it for taking a photograph of my inkjets so that I can remember the model. So when I go out to buy inkjet cartridges, I can simply just quickly look for it, just quickly use Evernote and search. Evernote's great because if I use it on my phone, it does synchronize with the internet so that it's backed up and then I can just log in from many different devices. So it's a really useful one. As I said, there is a premium version which allows you to upload more every month and there is the free version which I believe at the moment allows you to do 60 megabytes of synchronizing. But for me that seems to be enough, but I might get the premium version. You can go to their website to see more about this. It's called evernote.com. And they've got some useful tools there as well, such as if you wanted to take a clipping from a website, they've got a web clipper tool, and then that becomes a note as well, and you can tag it up and write any notes in there, and again, you can search for it. So really, really handy. Let me just show you quickly how it works. And I've got, say, something I'm looking through a catalogue, and I think, actually, I must remember that the next time I go into that store. So I'm going to do that now. Well, this is Evernote and I've got it running on the iPhone. And as you can see, I've got a few notes here, including one down at the bottom here, which is really useful. It's actually from Evernote and has links and also some useful tools as well. And as you can see, I've got some notes here, including this one here, which is about May tutorials. And as you can see, when it loads up, it's got a few here. They've got checkboxes next to them. I mentioned that earlier. And you can actually check things, which is quite useful. So you can switch them off and then you can switch them off and on, which is quite handy. And then when I actually go back to all my notes, you'll see it probably does a quick synchronization. Well, it's pending, so it will synchronize any moment now. There we go. That's now stored safely on the internet. So the other things that I could do is I can search. So I did say to you that I've got these inkjet cartridges, so I've just got a few notes on, on this account. So if I actually go to search, you'll see that up at the top here, I could type in something like ink. And because I tagged it up with it, if I press search, you see how quickly it's found it. I could then tap on that note to see more. So I'm gonna add a note, I've got a catalog here, and there's something I've seen that's quite useful. I'm just gonna tap on it. I'm just gonna put in here that there's a network adapter I've seen. So I'm just gonna type in network press space, it's done really quickly. I'm actually going to take a photograph of it and you can see there's a little button at the top and I've just tapped on that. I'm a bit of a distance, I'd normally get a bit closer, but for the purposes of this I've just got to do it from here. I can take the photograph and then I can actually tell it to retake it or use it depending on whether I'm happy with it. I'm going to say use it. As I said I could have got a lot closer, all depending on how good the camera is on your phone. So I can now tap at the top there on that little eye and I can now click on tags and there's some here that are already there so I could choose connect might be a useful one to have and I'm just going to actually add another one in here that says network Oops, let's just go back and get that right being butterfingers here I could put in the name of the shop or where I saw it and again I just tap on the plus tap on done there's all my tags, the two at the top there. I can now go back to my notes. The tags are in. I can go and change it at any points. Hit done. Hit done again. I could write some stuff in there as well. And if I just go back to all my notes over here. And by the way, you can create them. You can have notebooks, which is a bit like storing it in folders as well. So you can be a bit more organized. So there you go. 
that's done let's put in a note and you can do the same sort of thing on the internet as well and there's a web clipper and stuff like that so just a really quick look on the internet and you'll see there are all my notes are all synchronized up together and you can add things here as well so you can actually amend them so let's say I did have a business card or something I took the photograph write a little bit in but then I can get back to my desk where I'm not fiddling around with the phone and write something in there properly as you can see it's really easy to use it works on many devices it works on your computer and again it just synchronizes up wherever you go take a look at it it's free no harm in trying it out and I have to say what I really do like is when I go shopping I can tick on all those things to say that I've done that shopping as well and my wife uses the same account so she can also tick off on that list so really handy stuff go and try it out evernote.com and don't forget about our tutorials on the website there's many on there for Excel work powerpoints adding to them all the time iphones ipads hopefully one day i'll add an android in there just got to get hold of one of those devices as well don't forget you can contact me through the website you can also follow me on twitter and drop me a line there it's at jargon free help so feel free to contact me on that and follow me i'm always putting tips and reminders and things like that on there so please do follow me on that as well thanks for watching and don't forget jargon free help is more than just technology